In this recording, I will be showing how to use the Locate Object tool to anchor other tools using the Zebra Aurora software and how easy that is. First, we open up Zebra Aurora. We're at our home screen. We're in the View Devices area where we will see devices that are discoverable and connected on our network or PC. We see there's a VS40 camera here. I could click on Manage to the right to manage this device. Click on the New Job button to create a new job for this device. We will call this Locate Object Anchor Demo. Click Create Job. And we are already at the canvas area ready to configure a job for our device. I will skip over to the build Chevron where we could tinker with the machine vision related settings in our job. To the left, we'll have a toolbox. In the toolbox, we could expand different areas to view a variety of different machine vision tools available to us. In this video, let's focus on locate objects. I'm going to drag this locate object tool over in just a moment. First, let me click the live view button to get a live feed of what's in front of the camera. You could see my hand. I have a few automated fuses, so just to demonstrate quick, I got four of them here. They're pretty much the same. The only difference is you might see different amperages posted on the bottom. Using OCR, we're going to read the amperage on each one of these. Let's just stick with these two for now. I'm going to leave this one in the field of view. Turn off live view. And the first thing I'm going to do is drag the locate object tool from the toolbox over to our flow builder. Flow builder is a top down sequence of tools that make up a job. So as soon as they drag it over, you'll see this locate object tool expands in this blue rectangular area. More importantly, in the canvas, I actually just held control on my keyboard and scrolled out with the wheel on my mouse to uh, zoom in and out. Very easy. You'll notice two uh, rectangular boxes that appear. Uh, the larger red one is the locate object ROI or region of interest. This is where we're going to look for a certain pattern. And then there's a smaller model region of interest, the blue box here, and that is the pattern that we're going to look for in that larger box. So what we will do here is uh, the fuses all share this little fuse signage in the same area. So I'm going to place this here. That's our model region. And over here, I click capture model. As soon as I do that, I'm basically saying, hey, let's crop this little region of interest that I had selected. You'll notice that cropped image appears over here. And this cropped image that we see is what we're going to look for in the larger region of interest. So to quickly demonstrate, I will move this uh, fuse to a different area of the screen. And you'll notice that it finds the pattern and draws some crosshairs over it. Let's do that one more time. Bottom right. I'm going to return the fuse to the center to move on to the next step. OK, so that's pretty cool. Nice and centered. OK, I'm going to go back here. The next thing I want to do is I want to use that locate object that found pattern and use it as an anchor for another tool. I want to read this 100 amperage or whatever that number may be. So I'm going to use this deep learning based OCR tool and drag that over here. And that brings uh, an OCR uh, region of interest. We're going to shrink this box to say, hey, I want to read the text within this region of interest. And right out of the box, our very powerful neural network based OCR tool reads this font right out of the box, uh, 100A. So we know this is uh, 100 amps that shows up right here. Now, to demonstrate the point of anchoring here is uh, if I move this fuse to a different area of the screen and click the acquisition button, you'll notice that it does find the locate pattern tool, but the, that OCR region of interest is static and stays in the same area. So, you know, I can move this uh, fuse around the screen, but the problem is OCR is not following it. So how do we do that? So I'm going to return this fuse to the center of the field of view. I am going to move the OCR tool right here as it originally was. But the key thing here is within this OCR tool, which is second in the sequence, I'm going to expand here and look at the fixture setting and change this to locate object one. So what this is saying is I want the OCR region of interest to be translated with respect to the found image from the locate object one tool. Now, the power of that is now that I'm here, let's move that fuse again to the top right corner and rotate it roughly 45 degrees. Now, look at that. Not only did it find this pattern, but it anchored the OCR tool to follow it no matter where it is on the screen. Let's move this again, zoom out. I'm going to take another image here. It found the tool and rotated this region of interest appropriately and still decodes it 100 amp. Finally, to demonstrate how this might be used in the real world, let's uh, throw another fuse in here. I'm throwing the 175 amp fuse on. Now, this uh, fuse also shares that little fuse signage in the same area, but uh, it's a different text here, and the OCR tool captures that. So from here, you could throw a variety of different fuses on the screen and find an OCR that text the 175 amp or whatever the amperage is, no matter where it is in the field of view, which simplifies your workflow. And that shows how easy it is to use a Zebra Roar tool to use the Locate Object tool for anchoring of other machine vision tools.